Hello, good evening, people. Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi. You look tired, Claudia. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, okay, guys, it's already time for us to start. And uh, well, the first question that I always ask you, can everyone listen to me? Yes, clearly? Yes, clearly. Okay, thank you very yes. much. Thank you, sir. Okay, perfect. So um, thank you so much for being on time because I always connect like three minutes after and I see people already waiting for the class, that's very good. So it means that you are like, I mean, there just to ready for, to, for starting the class. That's something very good. So before we start today's class, guys, I've seen some messages on, uh, of you in the WhatsApp group that you're having some situations going on in the platform, am I correct? So uh, I wanted to ask you like, uh, if you have any problems so we can try to resolve now, because because I know yesterday was the first day that we had the first class. And normally the platform, it's like activated like within the four or next day. So how are you doing with the platform guys? This is a question for you in general. Is everything okay? Are you having any type of situation in the platform? Because I saw that some of you were just having, uh, like it was saying that it was wrong, your answer. And uh, well, I really don't know if you fix that or not. So I'm here. Uh, I have that problem and I, it's not solved. Mm -hmm. So what, what's, your, what's your problem? Uh, I write like the answer. Mm -hmm. First, I try with a short answer. Uh huh. It was wrong, so I try with a long answer, but it was wrong too. Okay. So did you did you try to add a period at the end of of your sentence or of your answer? No. Because sometimes that that is small period can make a big difference. Because you know. Uh, the platforms are kind of robots, right? They are robots oh. and uh, they don't work like 100% perfectly. But we're just trying to resolve 
all the problems that you have, uh, guys, so we can we can help you in that area. So um, um, after the class, if you can try it or if you can try tomorrow, Alejandra, and uh, just add the period at the end, if you still have that problem, so you can text in the WhatsApp group so we can try to help you in that area as well. Anyone else? No? Todos estamos bien en la plataforma, chicos. Everyone. Ya veo que estás haciendo. Si quieres, um, can you? Okay. All right. I am no problem. I, I am no problem in the platform. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. You you're okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, well, so if there's no problems, uh, I just, well, I just wanted to tell you to try to, Stella, you have a question? Mi problema fue en el literal, en la última, en el 1.12. Okay. Que me salía a responder conforme a mi información, pues. Y le he colocado y de todas me las ha dado negativas. Y no sé ahí cómo podemos hacer o qué se puede hacer. Uh, when you say negatives, do you mean that it's not correct or something like that? Is that what you mean? Oh, that is not correct. So, um, well, in that case, uh, well, we're going to try to get in contact with someone uh, of that department so probably they can help us to resolve that issue. Uh, well, can you please... After the class, can you text in the WhatsApp group your problem so I can get in contact with someone from that department and they can help uh, you to resolve that, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Hilda, you have any questions? Sí, en mi caso, el problema fue que solo me cargaba cuatro lecciones. De ahí, o sea, me llegaba a ser 1.4, de ahí no me pasa, no sé por qué. Entonces, a uh, no sé quién se llama Rodrigo, me dijo que le diera a pasar. Entonces, yo lo hice, pero igual no me pasa. Luego me cargó, pero actual cuando yo lo estaba haciendo, estaba ocupada. Este, ya cuando yo lo quise hacer para poder poner la debida atención, para poder responder, no me las volví a tirar. Mm, okay, so again, if any of you guys are having some issues with the platform, please uh, text uh, on the WhatsApp group saying your name and saying, okay, I have this problem. So I can send those reports to the, to the department that is in charge of the platform, technical support, and they are going to help you with that, okay? So please try to do that at the end of the class. If not, tomorrow morning, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So we're going to start today, guys, as I told you yesterday. Oh, we're full. La casa está llena nuevamente, that's very good. 27 people connected, very nice. So um, as I told you yesterday, today we're going to have a little bit of grammar and um, Today, we're going to have uh, the possessive adjectives. I'm pretty sure that some of you already heard or some of you already know a little bit about it. But let me see, in general, can someone tell me when you listen to the word possessive adjective, what comes to your mind? The mind? Uh huh. Okay. Yours. Okay. Very good. Yes. Or. Right. Okay. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have some ideas. That's very good. So we're going to start now. Let me just try to share the screen uh, with you. Can you see the slide? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So as you can see, we have possessive adjectives for today and we're going to start with this. 
Yesterday, we saw the personal pronouns like I, you, we, they, he, she, and it, right? Those are the, possess the personal pronouns. So in the, in the right side, we can see possessive adjectives. For I, we have the possessive adjective, my. For you, we have your. For he, we have his. For she, we have her. For it, its, we, our, they, their. Okay? So, when you listen to the word possessive adjective, you have to know automatically that a possessive adjective is something that shows possession, okay? That's why we call it possessive adjective because it is something that you own. You're the owner, the, you possess something, okay? As you can see in the letters or in the little definition below the chart, it says we use possessive adjectives to show who owns or possesses something, okay? So automatically when you listen to, oh, possessive adjective, okay, that is something that you possess. Okay, so let's move on. Here we have once again, just to clarify the singular and the plural forms. Because you, as you know, even with the personal pronouns, we have singulars and plurals, right? So for the singular part, we have, uh, let me see, can someone help me? Any volunteer? No volunteer. I volunteer. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Lisette, okay, I see that you raised your hand. Please, Lisette, can you please help me reading this singular part? Okay, singular, yeah. personal pronouns. I, possessive, my. Mm -hmm. You, your. Your. He, your. He, his. She, her. Mm -hmm. It, its. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Can someone help me reading the plural part? Me, teacher. Okay, no. go ahead. Who said me? Who is me? Okay. Oh, La okay. okay, so go ahead. Me? Okay. okay. Um, we, uh, uh, personal pronouns, mm -hmm. possessive adjectives. We mm -hmm. owe. We owe. Mm -hmm. You, your, they, their. Okay, very good. Um, as you can see here, we have the two classifications from the singular part, I, you, he, she, it. And when we say plural, why, can someone tell me, guys, why I have you in singular and why do I repeat once again you in plural? Does anyone of you know or have any idea? Por qué se repite you? Se repite porque de ustedes. Excellent. When we're talking about the plural, we're saying about ustedes. And when we say it in the singular part, we're talking about just one person, you, two, right? Thank you very much. And now let's move on. Here we have just some examples. Some examples and I will need, uh, uh, let me see Stella, you wanted to participate, right? So help me reading the first two sentences that we have here, please. This dumb house, mm -hmm. it is his house. Okay, so as you can see guys, the underlying word, La palabra surrayada, the underlined word, we are substituting that specific little word by the possessive adjective to show possession. So we're saying that the owner of that house is Tom, but we do not repeat the name. We only 
substitute the word by the possessive adjective. See, we have, it is Tom's house. It is <coughs> his house, okay? So let me see. Okay. Uh, let me see another one. Catherine Tatiana. Hello, help me reading the, the following two sentences. This is Susan's car. This is her car. All right, thank you very much, Catherine. As you can see there, once again, we're just trying to substitute the name by the possessive adjective. And if we, it doesn't mean that if you write the sentence number one, it doesn't mean that it is incorrect. No, both of them are correct. Yes, both of them. All right, so let me see. Helen Gladys, can you please help me reading the last part? Yes, teacher. Go ahead, please. Those are my parents' case. Those mm -hmm. are their case. Okay, so it says, those are my parents' keys. Those are their keys, okay? So okay. here in this little chart, in this chart that we have here, we can see the classification we have in the possessive adjective. The possessive adjective mind, we classify it as first singular. The possessive adjective your, we classify it as second singular. His, we classify it as third singular for males. Here, we classify it third singular as well, but for females, okay? And it's, it's third singular, but referring to things. And sometimes we, we use it for animals as well, okay? Our is gonna be the first plural, your second plural, and their third plural, okay? So here we have more examples so you can try to see the differences that we have between a personal pronoun and a possessive adjective. Here, uh, I will need some help as well. Let me see, Maria Veronica. Hello. Tell me reading this, this sentence, please. The one that I'm pointing. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. This one, this one right here. Mm. I have a shirt. Okay, I have a shirt. Very good. Claudia Janet, please help me with this one. My shirt is green. My shirt is green. As you can see, we're still talking about the same thing. What are we talking about? We're talking about shirt. So we're just saying that that shirt belongs to me. It's my shirt, okay? Showing possession. Luis Enrique, help me with this one, please. You have a book. You have a book? Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Rodrigo Chicas, help me with this one. We cannot listen he, to you, sir. Yes, he has a file. No, 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 this one. Your book is new. Your book is new. Your book is new. Very good. Thank you so much. Melida Dimas. The next one. This one right here. Hello, Melida. He has a pillow. He has a pillow. Okay. Pillow. Very good. Let me see. Andrea Renderos. Help me with this one, please. He has no, Andrea. Uh, she has a doll. 
No, this one right here. No se ve. Can you see it? Todas His la pillow ver? is soft. ¿Todos la ven, chicos? His pillow is soft. Okay, okay. His pillow is soft. Guys, if, uh, if there's any word of something or vocabulary or a word that is the first time that you've seen it, please, if you don't know what's the meaning, ask me. Si, si es la primera vez que ven una palabra y no saben qué significa, ask. Because we are here to learn. Yes, don't be afraid of asking questions. In English, the more you ask, the better you will understand. Okay? So, Luis Enrique, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, did you, okay. partic you participate she already? She has a... She has a dog. She has a dog. Okay, Patricia Veronica. This one. Her dog's dog is small. Is small. Her dog is small. Very good. Let me see who else. Monica Esther. This one. It has a bone. It has a bone. Very good. Stephanie Figueroa. It's bone is old. It's bone, it's old. Okay. Let me see someone just text. Okay. Jacqueline Pineda. This one right here. We have a bird. We have a bird. Thank you so much. Carlos Dubon, the next one. All of this is noisy. Our bird is noisy. Brenda Villeda, the following one. You have a house. You have a house. Thank you very much. Catherine Villamariona. Your house is big. Your house is big. And the last one, let me see. Christian Marroquin, this part right here. They have a car. They have a car. And last one, Ceci Melgar. Their car is slow. Their car is slow. Very good. Thank you so much, guys, for participating. Um, here, this part that you can see here below, it's just about pronunciation, okay? Because sometimes when we are pronunciating the word your, it can sound kind of similar when you use the contraction between a personal pronoun and the verb. Okay, as you can see here, we have your, that is a possessive adjective. And when we have an example right here that says, you need to bring your dictionary. How are you going to identify that you are not saying a personal pronoun in the verb be? ¿Cómo identificarían eso, chicos? Do you have any idea? ¿Alguien? Any idea? No. By the context. Yeah, of course, by the context. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anyone else? ¿Alguien más? No? Por okay. La apostrofe. No. La apostrofe. Okay. By the apostrophe, yes, pero eso lo vamos a notar únicamente cuando está escrito. ¿Qué pasa si alguien solo le dice, you need to bring your dictionary? How are you going to identify that this person is using a possessive adjective? And how are you going to differentiate that this person is not saying this thing? Que esta persona no está usando el verbo to be. How would you identify the difference in speaking? Do you have any idea? Me. Una puede ser, como dijo, depende del contexto, y la otra en la posición en la que se encuentra. Por ejemplo, el your de posesión va como a mediados, y en el otro va primero you are, y luego sigue 
la, la oración. Okay, that, that's something very good. Thank you so much. That helps. Mm -hmm. But one key... The pronunciation. What? The pronunciation and the yours and you are. Is well, different? actually, por eso, por eso la tenemos acá, porque la pronunciación, cuando usamos la forma en contractada, también le decimos your, your and your, ¿sí? Por eso lo tenemos acá, para ver cómo diferenciar, how to differentiate when someone is speaking. How do we do that? Very easy. Let me explain you. When we have your, and we're talking about a possessive adjective, well, we, uh, the way that we are going to differentiate that is because one, obviously the context, and the other one, it's because normally we are going to have an adjective or a noun. Un sustantivo después del possessive adjective. Siempre. Sí, porque yo no puedo decir mi sin tener algo referente que sea mío. Sí. And when we say uh, someone else, alguien por ahí mencionó que your, que es la contractado del verbo to be, plus uh, and uh, personal pronoun, can generally or normally it comes at the beginning. At the beginning and after that, we just have a complement. Después de eso solo tenemos un complemento, right? Those are the two, the, uh, the two things that are going to help us to differentiate one and the other one, okay? So we have the same thing here, guys, with it's and it's, because it's the contracted form as well. So we're going to do the same thing. As you can see, it's a possessive adjective. We have the example that says the dog played with its ball. It's very hot right now. So, when someone is speaking in English, sometimes it's not clear and you might get confused. But if you know the differences between the both, it's going to be easy for you to identify whether this person is talking about a possessive adjective or a personal pronoun plus a verb be contracted. Okay? Is there any questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento. Questions, guys? No question, please. Thanks. Is Any there question? No questions. Uh, Everything teacher, is clear? Teacher, esa, yes, esa parte de it's, quizás me la podría repetir porque sí, no me quedó muy claro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, in this part, I mean, the pronunciation is going to be still the same, okay? It's, it's. Pronunciation doesn't change because it's going to be the same. How are we going to identify the difference? Once again, the same thing that we did with your. Lo mismo que hicimos con your, because normally after the, pers the possessive adjective, we will have a noun, see? And when we're saying it's, that is personal pronoun plus verb be contracted, we're going to have just a complement, un complemento, right? That is going to be the difference. No more than that. Is it clear now, Lisette? Or you still have yes, a- teacher. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Very good. So someone else have any question? No? Okay, si no hay pregunta, verdad? Quiere decir que si hacemos un examen ya todo diez. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. We're going to see that later on. All right. So let's let's move on. Oh, no, let me see. I'm going to ask some of you to pronunciate these two things. We're going to have, well, we'd like to have uh, 10 volunteers. 10 voluntarios that would like to help me reading. Um, the possessive adjectives. So if you want to participate, please raise your hand. But you know how to raise your hand. Okay, we have Lisette, we have Adriana, we have Jenny. Okay, Lisette, can you please be the first one? Just the possessive adjective, please. The possessive. Yeah. Uh, I have a shirt. No, just, just the little word, the possessive. 
Ah, es que es así. My shirt is green. No, um, solo, no. La, solo la palabrita, please. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. My, your, mm -hmm. his, her, it's, our, your, their. Ok, Lizette, I escucho que me estás diciendo your, it's your, ok? Your, your. ok? Your. Thank your. you very much, Lizette. Thank Now you. let's go with Jenny Sanchez. Please do the same thing. My, mm -hmm. your, his, her, it's, our, your, their. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Hilda Solorzano. My, your, his, here, it's our, your, theirs. We say hair, okay? Hair. Here. Thank you very much. Alejandra Cristina. My, your, his, her, it's our, your, their. Ok, solo me salieron cuatro. Cuatro, um, we just had four volunteers. Así que vamos a elegir ahí por al, algunos. Let me see. Let me see. Los que están más calladitos, ¿verdad? Cristian Marroquín, go ahead. Are you there, sir? My, mm -hmm. my your, his, her, it, our, your, their. 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 Okay, very good. Carlos Dubon, go ahead. My, your, his, her, it, her, your, their. Okay, guys, once again, as I told you yesterday, guys, please, when you have a letter S, it is important to make the sound of the letter S clear so everyone can understand that you're saying the letter s okay uh, i can see alejandra cristina go ahead please uh, again oh you already participated yeah okay no problem so thank you so much for the people that is participating guys i do appreciate that i'm just taking that also into consideration because Remember, uh, an important part for you is your participation during classes. Okay, uh, let's move on. And let me see. We just have here some more examples, easy examples like we have here, it is a book. We can switch that using um, possessive adjective and we can just say it is his book or it is her book. Okay, this is, these are just general examples. So your computer, we have, let's move on, his car, we have hair dress, its cave, our toys, and their team. So I think that that's pretty much what we have for today. So let me ask you again, is there any questions so far? So far, so good. No questions at this moment. No, teacher, thank you. Okay, if there's no questions, here it comes the moment where you have to practice, okay? So uh, once again, as we did yesterday, if you're using your phone, uh, take a screenshot. If you're using, um, if you're using what, a computer, Take a photo of your computer or the screen of your computer so you can work on that later. Once again, guys, when you go to the breakout rooms, please participate. Because I'm telling you once again, participation is also very important. I'm just going to be checking all of you. If you are participating, if you're helping each other, and obviously if you are practicing your English. Because yesterday... Some of you were just speaking in Spanish. And when you saw me, cuando me vieron, oh, aquí está el teacher, vea. Ya dijeron a decir unas dos, tres palabritas. Now, guys, okay? 
just try to practice, okay? Because this is your time. This is the moment where you can practice. So did you already take a picture or a screenshot of that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, so teacher. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, here we have. Oh, what happened? Oh, okay. Are we done with that? Yes, teacher. Very good. Okay. Let me see. So I will stop sharing the screen and we're going to go to the breaker rooms. Please, once again, practice, talk to each other. See? Todos participando, hablando, yes, in English. Yes, teacher. Because if you're just there, si solo están ahí nada más, so what's the purpose? Entonces, ¿cuál es el propósito? Okay? The purpose for this class is for you to practice your English. Okay? So I will be checking all the groups and I will be checking who is speaking in Spanish or who is participating, who is speaking in English, and I will be checking all those things. Okay? So let me just create a breakout room so you can join. We are, yeah, okay. Okay, we're good. So please try to join your groups right now and let's start working on the exercises. What happened with you guys? Were you not able to connect? Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Hello, Stephanie, Rufino, Melida, what's going on? What happened? I listen, but uh, my computer uh, this pro is uh, I I have problem in my computer. Okay, okay, I understand. I listen, I listen. Mm -hmm. So what about you, Stephanie? Are you there, Stephanie? With this, we we do we do uh, let's practice. We have uh, uh, we have to do. Well, in this practice of in this part, obviously, you will have to um, to make the exercises using what we learn in the class. 
For example, you can, you're going to use possessive adjectives in all, in all of them. In the, in the, uh, in the cuaderno? Yeah, you can, you can do it in your notebook. Yes, why not? But, um, no, no lograste entrar al grupo, no? Did you receive the link or not? No, no, uh, never, never, never um, see the break. Okay. Uh, the window, the okay. Never say, never say window. Okay, I already sent it to oh. you once again. Ya lo envié de nuevo. So try to try to connect with your group so you can work with them, okay? Yeah, I see other other student. Uh, for example, it has Rosano, uh, Cristina, uh, but So I have problem with the internet. Okay. Yeah, just click on the bottom in uh, el botón que dice connect or just so automatically, automatically will put you on the group, will add you on the group. I I don't appear. Que es el animal. It's, it's. We are at school. We are at school. Our, our very school. nice. Nice. Está our. hablando de la escuela. Yes. Our in the number five. Our. our it's. School is very nice. Why sería our el, el, It's nice. también. Our, nuestra. We are at school. Our school is very nice. Entonces sería en la, en la cinco. Our. Oh. Very nice. Mm -hmm. A brother. His mm -hmm. name is Paul. His, yeah. his name is Paul. Yeah, he's correct. And in the toilet center? Nick Baker has a sister. Yeah. Her name is Debbie. Yes. And 13, 13 sentences? Um, yes, we have a dog. Uh -huh. This dog is very old. No, our dog is very our. old. Yeah, we have dog a... is we. Yeah. And okay. the fourteen sentence. No, nobody. Tom and Robert like fish and chips. It's their favorite food. And the last one. Somebody help us with that. Me, Claudia. Yeah, go ahead. We cannot mm -hmm. come on Saturday. It's my father's day, birthday. Yeah. It's exactly. my father's birthday. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
15. Son de los de children, sí. Ahora. Y es mi grandfather. It's her, uh, their grandfather. En la 15, ¿cuál sería? Uh, their. I am not secure. Father. What means, Andrew? Something that can help you guys is just to see the, the context and the context is going to give you an idea about which possessive adjective you can use. For example, in number 15, it says, suddenly the children see an old man. So we know the children is plural, right? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Hey. I have a question. For me? Yes. Okay, go ahead. What means suddenly? Sud suddenly? Uh, yes. Suddenly means de repente. De repente. Oh. Mm -hmm. Suddenly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So is David. There. Sandra? Yes. The children see an old man. It's their grandfather. Their grandfather. Yes. Very good. Sixteen. Sixteen. This meeting is being recorded. Repeat me, please. As Mary is sitting at the table, Peter feels <laughs> her glass with jewels. Her, or he? Her. 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 take the guitar and start to play. Yeah. It's music great. Our, our music is great. Our. 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 Or no sería their. Their music is great. No. I no, think no, because, because we are used uh, the sentences, the sentences are used we, we take. We, uh -huh. we take the guitar with, and start to play. We take. Yes. Yes. Captain yes. Clark. Our music is great. Yes. Our music is great. Yes. Yes. Our music. Our. Our. Our oh, yes. Captain Clark drives a yellow sport. A yellow sport car. In the center of the ciudad. Entonces, okay. sí. Sandra and Jenny are friends. Uh, their school is in the city center. Ay, no sé si me entienden, pero ahí va. <laughs> Creo que Alba puede escribir mejor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, vamos con la diez. Alguien okay. que nos colabore. Mm, uh, eh, sería. Sería. No, no, no. Sería Kiss. Is no, no, porque, no, porque es de Millers, o sea, está hablando ah, de la 
Oke. Okay. Ok, siguiente. ¿Quién más de los que no han participado? Compañeros, participen por favor, los demás. Ok. Bueno, si no, continuamos. Um, yeah, guys, don't worry. If the other ones do not participate, I'm just checking who is participating and who is not, okay? If the other ones do not want to participate, just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Okay, teacher. Entonces vamos por la 12, vea. Yes. 11, 11. Emma, Emma. In Spanish, in Spanish is my, my comida favorite. My favorite food. Yeah. Yeah. It is my favorite food. My favorite food. We can know, we can know come on Saturday. It is. Father Bordon. He. He's. 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 Yeah, of course, I'm Carlton, yeah. It's... Tom and Robert like fish and sheep. It is their favorite food. Their favorite food. Mm -hmm. We cannot come on Saturday. Funny. We can come in on Saturday. Funny. We cannot come on Saturday. Or Father Days. Or it is our your father. Day. Our father. Okay. Hi, teacher. You ready? Finished. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm talking the platform. You're what? Estamos hablando de la plataforma. Oh, you're talking about the platform. Okay. So I was checking that some of you were not participating. What's going on with you guys? So did you all participate? All. All of you. All of you. Okay, perfect. Just give me a one moment because I was checking the other groups and they're still in the last part. Did you do both of them? Both? Yes. All right. Okay, very good. You're fast. That's good. Just give me a moment, okay? This meeting is being recorded. Number nine, hour. Hour. Our, mm -hmm. our summer can be excruciating. I can't pronounce that word. Excruciatingly hot. Our summer can be. And we finish. Finish. <laughs> Very good.
um, teacher, I have a problem because um, uh, I don't participate be, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, uh, only only Stephanie Figueroa, mm -hmm. but uh, she she does listening. Mm -hmm. in, in, bueno, go, uh, I don't participate in this uh, in this practice. Okay, uh, yeah, I remember that you told me that your internet was not working. So I understand sometimes the internet doesn't want to help us, okay? But it's okay. So you can practice by your own at home. You can practice by yourself. And tomorrow you can fix the problem so you don't have the same situation tomorrow, okay? Okay. But it's 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 fine that you're still there okay thank you very much for that so guys how was the practice was it easy was it difficult was it confusing how was it is that confusing is it confusing for you okay maria luz yeah. yo creo de que todos tenemos que tomar responsabilidad al momento de entrar a los grupos porque hay, hay interferencias y si alguien pues no quiere participar entonces pues que, que apague el micrófono no sí, está correcto no nos sumamos a la idea pero eh, y lo otro pues sí respetar también cuando uno habla y el otro pero más que todas las interferencias sí nos pierden al menos nos pasó nuestro grupo okay sí, yo estaba yo estaba yo estaba en el grupo de ella y prácticamente no les escuchaba nada entonces se oía un solo o sea, era feo porque no les escuchaba y yo trataba de participar, incluso terminé participando escrito, aunque no sé si lo vieron. Ok, yes, yes, guys. Please, we have to... Go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, ok, teacher, sorry. Um, sí, la compañera en principio no participaba, ¿verdad? Pero después lo hizo por chat porque otras personas tenían el micrófono encendido y no se escuchaba, ¿verdad? Muy bien y había interferencia. Y no sé si usted podría llamar la atención, ¿verdad? Ya que algunas personas se descuidan un poco, lo encienden o se activa por sí solo y esas yeah. cosas. Yeah, ok, so, yeah. Thank, thank you so much for letting me know. Jenny Sánchez, do you have any question? Solo tengo una duda, teacher. Uh -huh. este, cuando vamos a hablar de, de animales o cosas, ¿cómo, cómo lo debo llamar? ¿Como his? Eh, respecto okay. al perro. Eh, okay, teníamos, okay. No yeah, sé. I understand that. Okay, normally in English, uh, by the grammar, we can say that we can, the only one that we can use it's eats. The possessive one, see, it's, okay. but uh, if you have like a certain connection with your dog or with your cat or with any pet at home, if you have a connection, like you feel that that's part of your family, you can say he or she, depending if it is a male or female, but that's, that only happens if you have a connection. So Americans. In the case, in the case of uh, number four, the dog is very cute. Its name is Ben, is it's, correct. That is correct. Yes, because we're talking about in general and we do not have a connection with that dog. We don't know which dog is that one. So we are going to use, or we are going to follow the grammatical rules, okay? Okay. Okay, guys. Accord Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Go ahead. Yes. Este, tengo una pregunta. O sea que, por ejemplo, si este es el gato o el perro de mi vecina, puedo decir it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Ajá. it. Y yeah, si yeah, es yeah. mi, este, o sea, si es mi, mi, mi mascota, entonces digo he o she. Claro. Únicame, únicamente si tú tienes una conexión con, eh, con ese animal, ¿sí? Por regla gramatical, una vez más se lo digo, por regla gramatical, el que se utiliza es it's, ¿sí? Por gramática, pero el inglés tiene sus variantes también y los americanos generalmente utilizan cuando hay un cierto cariño hacia los animales. Recuérdense que se les considera en esos países part of the family, right? Parte de la familia, right? So if you consider your pet, your dog, your cat, 
as part of your family, you can say she, or I'm sorry, here or he's. Uh, you can use the personal pronouns or possessive adjectives according to ella o él. But that only happens if you have a connection. See? Si consideran que su mascota es parte de la familia. De lo contrario, by grammatical rule, it's. Okay? Okay. Perfect. So, um, about the situation that your classmates were saying, guys. Please, it's very important that you keep the rules, okay? I know that interferences are not helping. Sometimes you can distract, you don't pay attention to what the other ones are saying, you get lost in the exercise and you don't know what else to do. For the next time, please try to, I mean, try to help your classmates, first of all, and try to respect them because if they want to participate, that's what we're doing here. We all want to participate, we all have different opinions, and we all want to say whatever we want to say, okay? So for the next time, please try to, I don't know, to, to be in a quiet place because you know that you're in class, right? Even though you are at home, you know that you're in class. So you have to have kind of, you know, respect for the other ones, okay? And also, I noticed that some of you guys are not participating that are just there, que solo están ahí, nada más por estar ahí. Guys, if you are here, I'm just telling you as, an, as a suggestion, como, como una sugerencia, right? This is the time for you to study. We are here to learn. Estamos acá para aprender, right? If you're in the class, it's because you want to learn. So try to practice, try to participate, and obviously try to make the exercises because we're doing these in order for you to understand the topic, okay? So okay. for tomorrow, guys, please try to do that. Um, a partir de mañana, todos los ejercicios que hagamos, los van a estar enviando una fotografía de ellos al grupo para ver que todos están trabajando, ¿sí? Porque hay ocasiones en los que algunos no trabajan y que solo están ahí, ¿ok? So, because we're going to, nos vamos moviendo ya, chicos, a intermedio. So, be, please try to be responsible, ¿sí? Todos tenemos que ser responsables, ¿ok? Coach, yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Is the, uh, the section one is okay. uh, all the week. O sea, son, son los ejercicios de toda la semana. No, it really doesn't matter. In, in this case, uh, if you want to... Uh, continue doing the exercises of the platform, you can do it all if you want to. Remember that the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that at the end of the module, you have to have 80%, 80% para poderse mover al siguiente nivel. See? Okay. okay. And, okay, uh, but, if, but if you feel fine, si se sienten bien, Después de cada clase, doing the exercises, that's up to you. But my suggestion for you is just keep doing, keep doing the exercises. If you have questions, we have the group. You can ask teacher, please, I don't understand that. Can you help me? And when I have the time, I will text you, okay, this is this, is this, this is that. Or sometimes algunos se sienten como que los demás, entre ustedes también chicos pueden ayudarse, okay? Todos somos un grupo. We all want to learn, yes? So we can help each other. So are we clear on that? Question. Have a question, Stella. Sí, o sea, cuando van a, digamos que las imágenes de la, del ejercicio que se ha practicado van a mandar antes o después. Pues porque yo pienso que mis compañeros, incluso la primera vez a mí, me pasó que me, por no tener la imagen yo no participé de nadita, nadita y me quedé perdida. Mm -hmm. Y ya ahora ya hay con que mi compañero puso la imagen, uh -huh. logré, le, logré con, como que convivir con ellos así para poder ayudar. No sé si yeah. la mandar antes o después. Well, in this case, um, normally it's going to be in the class. Porque el problema, chicos, es que si se las envío antes, hay veces se las envío y de nada sirve, ¿verdad? Llegamos a la clase y nada. Sí, entonces sí la tenemos en el momento. I do really appreciate, se aprecia a las personas 
que reenvían la imagen al grupo para aquellos compañeritos que no la pudieron tener, ¿ok? So keep doing that, guys, ¿ok? Ok. All right, so if there's no any other question, guys, this is all for today. See you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, ¿ok? Ok, okay. see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a question? Solamente si iba a compartir la presentación al grupo porque nos ayuda bastante después de las clases. Yeah, sure, if you want to, I will share it right now, ¿ok? Yeah, okay, perfect. So, have a good night, guys. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Adriana, you say you have a question? Sí, es que hablan de un grupo, pero tienen un grupo en WhatsApp. Yes, we have a WhatsApp group. Esa información se les envía en el correo. Cuando se les, se les inscribe al grupo, se les envía en el correo. Toda esa información está ahí. You can access to the, you have the link. Te envían el link, so you can access to the group. Through email. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, bye-bye, guys.